Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Segundo and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use Axios with SharePoint, with a SharePoint list. For those of you, for those of you not familiar with Axios, Axios is basically a promise-based HTTP client that works great in a browser. And I, I like it because um, it provides a, a clean single API for dealing with HTTP requests. And since SharePoint is web-based, it's a great way to make HTTP requ requests to the appropriate endpoints like your list and, and, and libraries for you to retrieve data and to update your, your list um, and, and those entities in SharePoint. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me show you my list first. Here's a simple list. It's just a simple list. It has a title, first name, last name, phone. And all I'm going to do is use Axios to dis display this onto a page like I've done here. So let me. So this is it right here. I've used Axios to hit the endpoint of my list and to render and display it on a page. So let's go to the code. Now, the first thing you want to do when you have Ax, we want to use Axios is. To make sure you have the library, so you can just Google the library or go to the Axios website and, and grab this link, um, and make sure you paste it in ahead of your HTML file where your code will be. And then in my JavaScript code, and I'm using I'm using Vue.js, and if you have if you if you're not sure what Vue.js is, it's a JavaScript framework similar to Angular, React, and some of the other ones out there. And you can go check out my other videos on how to use SharePoint with Vue. But anyway, here is an example of using Axios. So um, I have my endpoint URL here. This is my endpoint URL. This is the name of my list, Axios list. I'm grabbing my items. And so the way I use it is axios.get this endpoint URL right there and if if there are no problems if it's a success then it's going to return this response and what I do here at using view I just dump it into an array my user, users array and that's basically it and then you can use catch to catch any errors if there are any errors and you can also use then to always and whatever you want you know whatever depending on what your application is doing this then will always run regardless of if you get if you have an error or not so let me go ahead and save this and let me show you let me go to my page and refresh so if I refresh see this site says always executes no matter what and that's this then being um, executed. I also have, let's say I wanted to, let me purposefully make an error happen. So, and this catches the error. So if I come here and I do a refresh, as you can see, error fail with status code 404. I notice that it gives you, and you can, you can see the the other one uh, displayed as well. I notice that if you go into the browser, it gives you, a, I guess, more details on what the error is. So if I refresh the page, as you can see, that this is that error request field with status code 404. So same thing here, it's HTTP 404, not found. The server has not found anything matching the request URI. So it's not, it doesn't know what this Axios list is. And that's because I don't have an Axios list. It's singular. So let me go back to my code. And let me fix that. So fix that. Let me save the file. Let me go back to my code here. And refresh. and it ex always executes and there it is so 
So let me do a very re a quick reca recap. Make sure you have the Axios library so that you can reference it in your file. And then within your Axios, you have I have my MPO endpoint URL for my SharePoint list. And then I'm going to use a, a, the get request. And if there's a success, this right here, um, this handles any success. And this is important to remember. Make sure you put a response that data dive value. It took me a while to 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 to, to get this um, because you know SharePoint is different. So response that data that value, and then if you need to catch any errors, make sure you have dot catch, and then you can have another a dot den, and this this always always executes. So if you wanted to do something extra after all this is ran, you can always have a, a, a den. I hope this made sense. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope this has made sense, and I hope you can be able to use this in your SharePoint development. Thank you. Bye.